Hello and welcome to this video. In this session, I want to share with you how to manage configurations in Spring Boot application. I will show you how to use environment variables instead of manually hard coding configuration in your source code. This has many advantages. So separation of concerns, your application code is decoupled from its configuration, making it easier to manage and deploy in different environments. Then the security, so sensitive information like database credentials is kept separate from your source code, reducing the risk of exposure. And then flexibility, you can create different launch configurations in your IDE or use different environment variables for different deployment scenarios without changing your code. Then environments independence. So your application is less dependent on specific environment configurations, making it more portable and easier to share with others. So let's get started with a demo. So in this demo project, I have a Springbot application based on Kotlin and Gradle. And as you see in Springbot, usually you have many components that you should provide a configuration. So in my case, I have data source and Flayway for database migration. Information is first hard coded. And you see, this is already annoying because I need to maintain this information twice. So instead of using hard coded information, we will use variable. So first let's call this one. This is the username of the database. Let's define variable db user for example and this one is the password we will use the same here in flayway alone this change enable us to make the change to this information in only one place we can also define a variable for this one let's copy this value and replace it with for example db url and we do the same here so now our configuration looks concise. Now we, we decouple it now our code from the configuration. So we have to provide this information at runtime, for example, as environment variable. And for that, IntelliJ, it is very handy. You can define a launcher. So let's edit this one. It is saved under, you can change the location where this launcher is, is saved and you can define as many launcher as you need. And here we modify the options. We have this one environment variable. So we have only to provide environment here and we will define the first one is the DB URL and this is the value. Second one, DB user, for example, my schema user is project manager is the same as the user name and we save and as you see when we run the application let's see it use the information from the environment variables and as you see everything works as expected so the connection has been established and everything is okay so this is uh, important in dev environment you can define as many database targets as you want or as you need so if you are in test environment, you can configure your flyway against each two database. So this was a way how to do that. I have used this approach in many projects. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and bye.